uh, 30th of November, Steve. Start of a new uh, trip. And uh, here you go. I'm just coming towards um, oh, Winachi. I'm going towards Winachi, which is over 11. Well, I'm over the other side of the mountain. It's done nothing but rain. Just a little update of uh, what's been happening. We've had some terrible, terrible rain up in uh, Washington State on the west coast there. Uh, we lost um, 12 of our trucks in floods, flood damage and stuff like that up in the yard. Luckily my truck went in the yard uh, and trailer obviously, because I, well, uh, not obviously, but I don't go up there that much, do I? As a lot of you know, follow me. Um, but look at that angry river coming down this side. But we've got sunshine. First time I've really seen any sunshine in the last uh, few days since I've been at home. It's been just, Rain, rain, rain. Uh, it flooded a week or so back up in the yard and that's when 12 of the trucks got damaged. Then it stopped raining a bit. And then uh, I spoke to my boss on Sunday and he said, uh, he called me up and gave me a ring and he said, uh, will you do a flower load? Because the usual, the guys who do the flower loads, the usual ones, the Christmas ones, uh, they don't want to leave because it, it's threatening to, uh, to burst the banks again. It's the river and uh, up in Sumas and they want to protect their properties obviously so I said yeah not a problem uh, I'll do flow alone so uh, it did I uh, spoke to Casey on Sunday and it did break again so I went on uh, no that was Monday morning sorry he rang me he said yeah I need you can you go up to uh, Canada and load uh, one of the flower loads which was uh, four drops, five drops round my side, uh, not far from my house. All the Costco's going down towards Seattle, basically. And then this one over Winachi, um, which it was Winachi and then working your way back. We always, with the flowers, majority of the time you'll do the furthest one away and work your way back. So you get the don't load till late at night. Uh, they, you know, they pack them, uh, prepare them all during the day. You, we go up into Canada, nip over the border, and load them up late on the late afternoon, five o'clock. Usually they're ready on, onwards. Get them on, and uh, then go to your fair. This one, because all the stores will be shut. Work your way back because they start unloading pretty early, like four in the morning. Ah, three, some of them. So you can usually get them all off by dinner time. But, uh, brains here, I thought, ha ha, I know, uh, I'll load it, so I, I suggested it to the boss, I said, shall I load it the opposite way around, do all my uh, close ones first, finish up on the east side of the mountain, uh, where we usually load uh, um, apples and things for Florida. Excellent idea, he says, I'll get your load to Florida out of there when you're done, so, you know, it's a win-win. I aren't running over the mountain empty. I'm getting all the, co uh, helping them out on one of the Costco runs. Plus, it gets me over this side. So, you know, and earns me some spondoolies, which it's all about, isn't it? We need to earn some extra money, of course. So, it's, uh, it, it's a win-win. And, uh, like I say, I've got, this is to coming up to my last one. I've got six uh, racks for these guys. It's, uh, Half, half past 11, I'll be there for 12 o'clock, get that off. I still haven't got my dispatch for my uh, my Florida load, but I did speak to the boss. He said it's actually thinks it's out of Winachi. You know, percent he thinks it's out of here, but they haven't sent me the full details yet. That'd be nice. That means I can run Montana for a change. I haven't run over uh, Montana in that way for a long time, for God knows how long actually. You know, it's all been down Texas and that way and stuff, California's going south, so. The weather's pretty good. Look at that, how vicious that is. That's angry, is that, isn't it? That's scary biscuits, isn't it? Little bit of advice. When it's been raining a lot, this side isn't too bad, but the other side, it was really torrential rain. So try and stay away from the mountain a bit. If you've got a dual carriageway, twin track bit of road, and you're hugging the mountainside, this, uh, we're doing it the opposite way around here, but say the mountain was on my right-hand side, and you've got a twin track, and there isn't a lot of traffic about, it's probably a good idea to stay in the outside lane. Obviously, if there's nobody coming up behind you or anything like that, who wants to get by. Uh, that way, if you do get a bit of a landslide and stuff like that, it's, uh, you know, you, you're gonna be a little bit more protected because it does happen. So I set off yesterday to go to Canada about lunchtime. I was over an hour 
going up the I-5 because the lane, one of the lanes is shut down because they had a landslide two days ago up there. Um, and one of they were still felling all the trees and that, securing it all. So that was a mess of help. Then I got into Canada, uh, got my load on, not a problem. Uh, bear in mind, we can't go through our local border. That's all shut down because of the flood. You can't get into Sumas at the moment because uh, of the floods and everything like that. So the border there is closed. One of the other borders is closed as well. So you, we've only got, on the west side, we've only got Blaine which is open which all the traffic is going up which is obviously putting a lot of pressure on that border so anything wanting to come in and out of vancouver anything like that uh has to go through blame and gee man it's three hours three hours to get across yesterday uh and get in and out of there well it is what it is you know what i mean it ain't always going to be like that thank god but um it was a bit of a bit annoying last night, so I didn't get that far. I wanted to just get it on and go home, really, but that didn't happen. I got one of the loads off uh, at 9.30, one of the Costco's good. Like I say, I love working for Costco. They are brilliant. 9.30 at night, pulled it to the supermarket. Hey, bud, any chance of getting these? Of course there is. Just bear with me a minute, and I'll open a door up here. There you go. And uh, the other one's off super early this morning, nice and uh, in out. You know, happy people at Costco, because I think what it is, is their employees are trepanized. You look after your employees, you're going to have happy people. Especially seeing this load, but I think everybody understands, obviously. This load is like, was meant to be delivered Sunday, it is now Tuesday. Or Monday it was meant to be delivered, I don't know. It's pretty through here, isn't it? Always check your mountain passes before you set off and go over them. Uh, just do your Google map really quick. I knew there was not uh, nothing really on top of here, but you just don't know. Like I say, because the landslides, they could just boom happen like that. And uh, and if you do have half, half, halfway up something like here, you're pretty bollocks because uh, it's a bit of a long way to get back round again. So jolly on, we'll uh, get this load on and uh, see where we can go. It won't be till a Monday delivery, so if I load today, uh, it's a nice bonus. I want to get the back washed out, actually. Uh, I haven't washed the interior uh, of the trailer for quite a while, so I'm going to get that washed out before I go and load, I think. No point in washing the truck. Not yet. The usual thing, I won't wash it until I get further over down south and what have you. Probably not until I get down in by Georgia because uh, I imagine the weather's not going to be brilliant. Just add a little bit of uh, a verdant fact. Uh, take it or leave it, it's uh, probably bullshit, but no, I, I, what I'm led to believe, and then that covers me, right. Uh, why we get to the east and the west, a totally different weather of Washington. Um, because we've got the Cascade Mountains. Look at that, that's spectacular. Isn't it? You wouldn't want to be dipping your toes in it though. No swimmy swims today. Um, you come th uh, the P Pacific uh, Pacific Ocean there, or the where on the side of, obviously on. Uh, it picks up a lot of uh, moisture and stuff like that, and rain brings it all up and dumps it on the land. So it dumps it our side. When it hits the mountains, the Cascade Mountains that run all the way. Uh, through Canada, well, halfway through Canada and so on, uh, coming down here that I have to go across when you get over these, and look at this, this is Leavenworth, uh, this is your Bavaria town. Um, it uh, it pushes it higher up, which makes the warmer we warmer we weather coming off the, um, the, the, the desert over this side, because they have a desert over on their side. But I was, we have um, a rainforest, they have a desert, you know, it's quite Quite two uh, massive contrasts, isn't it? Polar opposites, without a doubt. So you get over this side, a couple of hour drive, and sunshine. Yes, why don't I live over this side? I ask myself time and time again. I'd have thought the lights would have been out by now. Christmas lights, what's going on? Doesn't look very Christmassy at all. 
What are you doing, Leavenworth? Sort your shit out. Come on. It's absolutely dead. We've got a little bit going on on the left there. They're making the effort. Good people. Wow. Above and beyond and over the top, isn't it? It's either a one extreme to the other, nothing or everything. Brilliant town, this. My God, they have some marvellous beer here. Big old steins. I nearly said served by the local wenches, but I don't suppose they like that. I think, can they be called bar wenches? Is that a thing or is that not politically correct? Hundred and one percent worth a visit if you're here. Oh, we've got the Christmas fair thing going on now. Disappointing. It's nearly lunchtime, I thought everybody would be open. Onwards and upwards. That's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Uh, this is a cracking road. This is the 97, um, which runs uh, US 2, joins into a little bit further down. This is over the east side of the mountains, over the Cascades. Uh, I've never run this one before. I ran a bit last night and thought but it was getting dusk though, so I didn't bother videoing it. And I thought, God, this is, uh, this is nice. This is very pretty. The same in Florida got cancelled. I've got two pickups for uh, two pickups for um, Houston, Houston, Texas instead, which I'm quite happy about that. That gives me plenty of miles, keeps me low as well, away from the snow. Stay down low, keep away from the snow. We know how it goes. Uh, I was only thinking, looking back at some pictures, this time last year I'd done like three spells on the snow, and uh, so doing pretty well, I haven't seen any of it yet, well, apart from that one little snowball I made the other day, but uh, uh, nothing really, which is pretty good, but you must agree, this is some run, this is a bit cracking to run down on, on a motorbike, and look at the temperatures, 11 degrees first thing in the morning at half past seven. Light bit of traffic, first thing in the morning, but apart from that, But it does get bitter here. I was uh, in Winachi and I was saying to the wife, I said, why don't we live over here? This is really nice over here. She says, you say that every year when it rains a lot. And we got all the rain in west, western Washington. I always say that apparently. Who would I to know? Um, and she says, uh, she, uh, and then I, I went for a wander about around Winachi and what have you, did some shopping, different stuff and what have you. And I'm listening to a lot of the tires. And everybody's got their uh, studded tyres on already. I think, oh yeah, I remember now. It does get bitterly cold over there. It really does. You get a lot of ice and snow and stuff. So, it, it, that's here. You won't get hideous amounts of snow, but you get enough and it gets very, very cold. Desert, innit? Desert gets super cold. During the day, it'll be super nice and sunny, though. picturesque that is for sure and that is the wet river uh, Richard did tell me I can't remember oh oh ha oh ha 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 something river the grand when sun comes up yes yeah, so I'm uh, 170 mile from my um, other pickup which is ideal because I'm doing apples straight out the farm. I'm running agriculture as well, so that gives me um, 
a little bit of a wet. I don't really need it to be fair, but uh, you may as well take advantage rather than eating at your hours. Uh, so I did flowers, agricultural, all the way across here. Uh, to win actually, I can do that within the 150 mile uh, radius, get all the drops off, and without having to touch the e-log. Then from there, I did actually go on log, which is a bit of a grey area actually. From Wenatchee up to where I've just loaded, which was 70 miles from the farm, I went on to log to go up that bit. Got, uh, got. I'm, I'm not sure about whether you can 100% sure whether I can actually run e-log exempt agricultural if I'm going towards and I'm in the 150 mile ma uh, air, air miles, whether I can go towards the farm or not. Some bits I've been reading say I can, other bits say I can't, so until I look into that a bit more, I'm running e-log till they, till they pick up, get my pickup on, and then I'm, I'm agricultural again, which gives me, all the way down is 180 something mile road miles, it was, to uh, get my next pickup, which is Yakima, uh, southwest Washington which I can run that agricultural because I've got half a load of apples on out the farm uh, e-log exempt all the way to there then I get my next load on which gives me another trampoline of 150 miles south of that farm so you know uh, it's quite quite a big saving on my hours if I need them my plan is if I get loaded something like it, it's only Wednesday now, no, it's beginning of the month actually. White rabbits, white rabbits, white rabbits. Uh, <clears throat> if I get... If I get my load on early, at this next one, which is the booking is quarter to, quarter to 11, I'm going to be there, I ain't going to be there that much earlier to be fair. Uh, probably about 10 o'clock. But get it on sharpish, I'm not hanging about. Nice cover, but I'll uh, look at that, it doesn't look real, does it? Real. I have to pinch myself sometimes, you know, driving down these places. Holy cow. It takes your breath away, it really does. We're up to 19 degrees already. This is how different it makes me, always um, amazes me, just going up and down mountains, how different. Like I just said, three minutes ago, if that, it was 11. Now I'm up to 19. Just with a bit of uh, elevation and that. Incredible. Anyway, going back, yeah, if I can get it on something like it, it's not to deliver till Monday. I won't get it off any earlier. I've got two tips, two deliveries. Um, so I'm hoping if I get a scoot on, it's only about 2,200 miles or something like that only. If I get a scoot on, I will uh, should be able to get down there for Saturday, have a 34 off, ready to come straight home. You know what I mean? Otherwise, if I drag my heels, I'm going to get down to Houston, I'm going to get unloaded. By the time I get unloaded on Monday, I won't have enough hours to get myself all the way home, so I'm going to have to have a 34 on that. So by that time, you're Monday, Tuesday, before you can sell back again, you know what I mean? But uh, doing it this way, if I get a, get a kick on, I can uh, be ready to rock and roll on Monday as soon as I get it off. Then I should be home by Friday. We'll see. We'll see. Meanwhile, enjoying this beautiful drive. My God, this road gets better. Just cuts on and on beautiful mountain scenery. Now we're up to 20 degrees, Jesus, it's even tropical. A bit windy, but we can cope with that. The all your produce, like I said before, is over this side. Uh, apples, pears, you name it, all your uh, sort of hard fruit like that. You'll get a lot over here. Saying apples are hard fruit, yeah, it is hard fruit. Which is ideal. Look here, Californian farmers <coughs> in Washington, 
we have agricultural near a big river. Not in a bloody desert. Well, yes, this is a desert, but a uh, huge river. Huge river. Right next to it all. There you go. Take note. Not rocket science, is it? I love uh, American bridges. Something about them. <laughs> They're just super cool, I think. Even the rusty, uh, rustic look makes it look doubly cool.
a nice little swimmy area in there. I wonder if there ever comes a will ever come a time that I'll come down here and say, you know. I'm done with driving here. I want to drive back on the M25. Love these bits that come down here. I love lots and lots of America. There's, uh, I could just carry on videoing forever. I know a lot of you get bored of it and a lot of the haters will be, nah, the, the uh, M62 of a saddle was just the same and all that shit and what have you. It's not a competition. And uh, I get that a lot, you know, a lot of haters and stuff like that. Well, not a lot, but a bit. Um, it's never a competition. There's good, there's bad, you know, there's uh, beautiful places all over the place. There's shit holes all as well over here. You know, it's not all brilliant. You know, the first year, it has its fair share of uh, places I'd never, ever want to go back to again. Well, with it being so vast and huge and different landscapes, you do get a lot of uh, beauty and covering a lot of distance all the time as well, you know. That's why you managed to get in a lot of the uh, viewing. But this is like my divide between the east and west, basically, as you're heading up into the mountains to get uh, over onto the uh, west side of Washington. And this is absolutely beautiful. This, I go swimming just down here in summer. I'm not sure if the water will still be warm enough now. Probably not, to be fair. There's a nice little swimming area down here. And I can get parked in the boat in uh, launch thing. Nobody ever says anything to me, America. No, you're a truck. You can go in the boat bit. Says trailers. You enjoy yourself. You have fun. Just because you're a truck driver doesn't mean you're uh, exempt from having fun like a lot of places in Europe and England. Uh, no, you can't go there, you bloody dirty lorry. Get out. In California, it's totally different though. We all know what that place is like, dummy. Well, there's the uh, island swimming area. If you see just to the right hand side, you've got uh, a couple of tan like trees there. Uh, just behind that bit is the swimming area. Really nice. And to the left, the uh, all the white bollards, that's the where a park. It, it looks as though it's closed now, though. Maybe closed for the season. Oh no, the gate's open at top now. You can't do overnight parking in there. There is a campsite there as well. Pretty cool. Nice little cafe at the top there. Top of the hill. Um, the cafe, no, is open. The uh, cafe up there is, um, they have Buffalo Burgers, which is pretty good. I'm not sure if they're open all year round or not, you know. Can't beat a bit of Buffalo Burger. Or Bison Burger. Either, either. Big black ugly thing. Here I am. I had a bit of a going on this morning. Uh, fucking brakes froze on on the bloody trailer. Well, actually, they didn't freeze, freeze on. They froze off. Word of warning. Get your alcohol in those lines before it's too late. It was minus six this morning, so it's pretty chilly. Um, which I didn't think that was so bad. Did all my checks, set off and everything. Did my trailer yank on the brake and everything like that. All good. Got up to a set of traffic lights to pull out. I was just in Colorado, heading towards New, New Mexico, where I'm at now. And um, no brakes. I thought, fucking hell, brakes on the truck, but not on the trailer. Managed to coast it over, pulled the brakes again. By this time, they're locked on. Luckily, I had some of the uh, the antifreeze stuff, uh, well, the alcohol to pour in it. So I managed to put a load of that in and uh, free them up eventually. But I will say, it really is uh, a bit of a worry that knowing that your brakes can freeze open. I've never had that before. I've had them uh, freeze on, but freeze open, that is uh, something new to me, it really is. So I, um, like I say, I managed to free them off, but just watch for that because you won't get any warning signs on the trailer or, uh, or on the truck or anything, nothing, nothing at all. It's not giving you bugger all. So anyway, you got your loves over there where I've been before. Uh, there's the loves which is part of speedco i fucked them off i'm fucking done with them absolutely done with the worth ethic is absolutely sucks man it really does 
you just go in, uh, it takes them ages to do the paperwork, all that shit. We have got an account at the Loves over there, so you know, I can get everything done like this. Come across to the TAs, fucking brilliant. Straight in, lubing it up, they're gonna sort my tire out and stuff like that as well. So, but I'm straight in, there's no messing about. There's my mechanic here, nearly done with the lubing, done with the lube. Yeah. Excellent, very good. So, I've got to pull forward, it's gonna do the uh, trailer and uh, get on with that bit. <laughs> Happy days, eh? And I can get rolling again. Because we don't want to be stopped. It's just for a, uh, a slow puncher and a loo. I don't want to be messing about for two hours or some shite like that, you know what I mean? It's just, I haven't got that sort of time. I really haven't. So, uh, love it, the TAs. I will have to pay. It's only 100 and, 100 and some dollars, 113, I said, for a tyre and uh, a loo truck and trailer. Happy days. So, peoples, I'm... Oh, we've got a bit of a wobble. Uh, I'm in and out of the, uh, of the TAs within an hour. And uh, I can't really go that way, fuck it. But um, I was just looking, speed cars over there, which is the mechanics I fucked off, uh, and there's TAs. TAs, a little bit more about TAs. TAs is an old established uh, company. This one in Melania in New Mexico. The uh, manager there has been here 35 years. Old school. Uh, uh, TAs uh, and Loves, your speed code Loves, which are all as part as one, they're, uh, they're, they're pretty new to the game of uh, moving on to doing mechanics, or so-called doing mechanics. Basically, um, their mechanicing skills is, is, I'm sorry, but it's f f shit. Fucking shit. Uh, I don't know where they get taught, I don't know how they get taught, but I know they get taught if that number doesn't match that number, you're not going to replace it. You're not going to fit that bit on there. If that nut's over tight, you're not going to take that nut off. Uh, and, you know, it's just, it's just fucking ridiculous. They really need to sort the shit out. But, it's like you go in, first in, when you're going to, um, I want to rant with these now. What are we doing, mister? Are we staying there? Are we just hanging out? Are we, uh, are we sneaking? He weren't thinking of reversing, was he? That would have been interesting, wouldn't it? And where are you going? What the hell is going on? Well, oh, we're going now. Hang on a minute. What seems to be the problem? Go on then. Go on then. <laughs> He's all stressy, wasn't he? Had to be out. Got to be out. Got to be out. Oh dear. What a muppet! Anyway, going on. So you got your uh, speed car over there. They, um, they're, you pull up. You first have to sort out paperwork. How they're going to get paid, different shit like that, and uh, and all stuff. Uh, they want to know the payment, who's paying, different things like this. Which obviously that's somebody in head office that's uh, that says all this about how it should be done. So it's not basically the people on the ground's fault. Uh, it's their fault. So. That adds all an extra time. You go into the TAs there. I've went in there before with a tire. I, they had it ripped right, off the tire right, the and stripped down Dead before I'd right. even gone into the office right. to start uh, sorting about how I was going to get paid and things like that. So, you know, it's uh, saving a lot of time. Basically, last time I was in there with getting a, a tire mended, I was, um, by the time I'd sorted out paying for it, the tire was back basically on my truck and I was over. Anyway, so. It is, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just done with uh, speaker basically, and loves with the, with the way they can just treat people. As I come out there, um, he told me when I pulled up to the speaker, he said, uh, pull up to number one door. Uh, there'll be, there's a truck in there, but he won't be long, and uh, you can go in after him. So he's doing some wiring, this dude. So I had a look, see what the score was on the, uh, he was doing, and he still had all the wiring pulled apart and everything. I'm like, Jesus, on a trailer. I spoke to the driver, the dri I said to the driver, how long have you been here? He said, three hours. Fucking three hours to get a light beam. Uh, you know, <laughs> what the hell? Um, so I, th I asked the mechanic, how much longer are you thinking? He says, uh, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, uh, uh, and all this, I thought, no, I can't be doing that. This is before they'd even start doing mine. 
So you imagine it's just going to take forever, isn't it? So, can't do that. But anyway, happy days, back on the road. Mm, hello all, it is Saturday uh, and I, uh, Saturday the something, Steve, um, of December, the beginning. I, um, let's just have a look to see what we've got here. I've just been chasing this train for a while. It's the train chase. He's a little busy! 
haven't seen that in a while actually, somebody uh, entertaining in the traffic. We don't recommend you do this without plenty of practice first. It's uh, it would be frowned upon if you made a mess and fell off in front of me. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be liking that one. Full wheelie in right up to the off ramp. <laughs> Brilliant. Pretty cool that one in. Good morning. What a shit show morning. So, I got here last night into Houston, uh, supposedly first drop. Um, the 20 mile apart are the two drops, so it's not a massive big deal, but uh, my problem. Let me explain. So, I get here last night, uh, night at about uh, 7 8 o'clock, ideal. Goes to my bed, get up this morning. I thought I'll go and try them because the delivery is not till Monday, 4 o'clock. So it goes and sees the really nice chap on the uh, on the reception here. Oh yeah, it's produce, we'll take it. Happy days. 10 minutes later, get a phone call, back on the bay, bay 28. Jobs are good. So I'm sat here on the bay. They start to unload me, usual thing. They usually strip them down and check all the produce, apples, uh, before they uh, tell you you're good to go and things like that. So usually a couple of hours or so. Not a problem, I'm not written, I didn't think I'd get the next one off anyway today. So I'm not in no rush. The lady just come out to me. She said, you loads the wrong way around. She said, we, you've got your, uh, your, our stuff's right on the front. We pulled a couple of pallets off, three pallets, and then suddenly realized that after stripping them down, they're not for us. Great. Great. So it's now nine o'clock here. I, uh, I'm going to go over to the other place. Have a word with them and see what they say. And then she says, come back here in the morning and we'll unload you straight away when you get back here. Uh, it's just a cock up. Fuck! Luckily, this has never happened before, you know, so it can't, it's not a thing that happens all the time. My deliveries are the wrong way around. I went to the right one that I thought wasn't, it's the other way around. So I'm hoping my 99 cents is a four o'clock booking in the morning. That way, I can be back here by hopefully eight o'clock, hightail it away, out of Houston, get the hell out of Dodge, basically. So um, we'll go over and see them and see what time deliveries there are, because nobody's answering the phone. Hopefully the uh, reception, the, the reviews are really good over there. So it's near me Costco depot and stuff like that. So there's a Love's truck stop and different things over there. So we can sort something out. Lane from the right, Ooh, that's me. then take the exit toward Dallas um, Good morning, this is uh, downtown, downtown Houston. Right downtown. Ah, oh, cool way. Very busy. Oh God, I think I'm in the wrong lane now. Um, 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 yes. Let's try back out this one. Sorry. Nobody seems to know what, which way they're going here. It's not just me. There's lots of people. He was backwards and forwards on the left in different lanes and things like that. Um, matey in front of me was as well. It's a little confusing. Take the ramp on the left to I-45 South toward Galveston. Anyway, I'm going to a lovely place called Galveston. Well, I've not been before, so I don't know if it's lovely. It's right onto the port. It's right on the Gulf of Mexico, so I've never been onto the beach bit there. Right now, I don't think. So, that's something new, something fun. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm loading, but it's going straight back to Vancouver, British Columbia. So, gets me straight home, lovely job. I was going to go up to, where was it going? I was going to do another one to, um, was going to load up for uh, Colorado, Colorado Springs, which is Denver way right there. But uh, he sent me a message, do you want to do this one instead? Will I lo unload it in Vancouver? I said, hell yeah, straight through. No, I don't have to mess about that. Um, gets me home for, hopefully home for Friday, depending on how long they are here. You know what it's like, we'll pull in a dock and we're meant to know exactly how the situation works and everything, even though we've never been on it before. But we'll work it out. I'm sure we will, otherwise we won't be going home empty-handed, will we? Um, so I sat about Sunday, like I say, it was a bit of a mess up uh, with the loads and that. Uh, checked all the truck over, got underneath, did all that malarkey and stuff like that. Did, uh, had a wire had come off, uh, I'll explain about that later. We had a bit of a, a whoopsie. Uh, it happened. Uh, getting a bit narrow here. 
There you go. Oh, wants to scrape that one further ahead. Now look at the Mercedes. Gotta be, gotta be there, gotta be there, gotta be there. I drive a Mercedes, you know. That gives me priority over your Hyundai. Right, what lane do I want now? It is still a bit of rush hour traffic. I'm hoping now, uh, coming back, I'll drop a, um, I'll follow the Gulf along a little bit. Uh, Mexico and um, not have to I'll try and miss out miss out Houston because it's a bit of a bottleneck to be fair as you can see it's really cool that you house bigger houses like that right in the middle you notice how different the houses are to my side no sticks here or proper brick huge great houses right in, right in the heart of it Concrete jungle. Yeah, it's only uh, 53 miles down to the island. We'll check in when we get down there. So I'm on the island. Big old bridge came across. It wasn't exactly exciting. Uh, that's pretty cool, that building. Old dilapid thing being renovated by the looks of it. Or just leaving to fall down. Just leaving to fall down, maybe. Um, and the weather's not exactly brilliant. It is to 25 degrees and uh, downtown East Beach. There we go. 24. Why have we stopped? 25 degrees centigrade and extremely windy. I'm looking at the price of these hotels here. They are too bad. They're about ranging from 60 up to uh, whatever, you know. So. Too bad for your cheap uh, main ones, your um, happy holiday sort of things. Without going silly and down to uh, Motel 6 or something like that shit. Going on. Oh, he's coming out, isn't he? Maybe he's not, he's changed his mind about that. Wise move, big truck, big, big wheels. Um, just four mile down the road, or 5.5, sorry. Well, but there, I was expecting a bit Caribbean y tropical sort of thing. It's, mm, it's not exactly doing it, is it? You get better a bit further on. There's a lot of them pelican things, them ugly looking buggers, on the jetty. Maybe if it had been sunny, it'd have added a bit more Caribbean effect to it, wouldn't it? Because this is basically that's the Gulf of Mexico to the right. No, it's not. That's a um, that's a lake uh, to the left. It's just a narrow island, isn't it? It's sort of narrow, -y. yeah, ish. With a big port on it, by the look of it. Mystery to what we're loading. I didn't get told. Top secret. We led onto the dock blindfolded, loaded blindfolded, and escorted off. Hmm. It is uh, 2,500 miles home from here. Uh, I'll be going, but luckily, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to that other uh, load that he had for me, going back to Colorado, Denver sort of thing, and then going back that way, because that was, I knew that I'd probably, knew, but probably, if that makes sense, uh, it'd be loading beer, what's he doing hiding down there, um, loading beer out of Denver, which would have been back for uh, Seattle or Portland, uh, which would have made me have to drive uh, Wyoming. You can go all the way up to Montana, but you'd be just, it's uh, half a dozen one and then six of another, if you know what I mean. Um, it doesn't make any difference, really, because the weather's coming in bad now, the slinging chains on Snock Army and shit like that. Was that no truck thing for me? I just saw a no truck thing that was going on my eye. Oh. Oh. You think that man will know? Do you think he needs. 
If he pulled his trousers up, for God's sake, he'd be able to walk properly. Buffoon. What is wrong with them? So I don't have to go through Wyoming or that way because it's. I was looking at. I was planning my route out already. If I was going to go back that way, it was only until uh, well, about four o'clock this morning. Uh, the boss sent me and asked if I wanted to do it. Ping through. So he must have been up bright and early, like he, like he does. Uh, if I wanted to do this other one, so that uh, I don't. I'd planned all the other route out to go through Wyoming, looked at the weather and stuff like that. And the weather was uh, reading, I had only Wednesday as a window. Monday, Tuesday was really, really windy, close to high sided the uh, anticipated. So uh, it was gonna be pretty shit show. So all that was open was like the Wednesday. And then Thursday, high, uh, high winds again, and Friday, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, shit, because it is a two day run up to here, Denver, and I would have had, had to, really go for it to get loaded uh, Wednesday afternoon and get the hell out of there basically but no this is a lot easier now um, I'll see what the weather's doing this way and I can uh, just run back to Salt Lake City and uh, the way I came down basically straight the same way back to uh, the big Texan Roadhouse build up there a woman or whatever that's fancy fun sounds and uh, we missed the uh, bint up there. Is it? Well, yeah, it is. I know who she is. These houses are big old Union Jack. Check that out. That's got to be the embassy, ain't it? Aston Villa, it says on it. Haven't got a clue. And it, these uh, got cruise ships here as well, I see. Huh. I think we'll have to get a picture out of the outside of there, won't we, on the way back? And we might have to go for a jog up there and look around and see see what's going down there. I'm looking at my GPS and it's saying that uh, sat nav I can uh, turn left on one of these, but the um, sat nav's telling me to go all the way down to the bottom and come back on myself. So I've tried this before where you've done a left and thought, oh, I know better, I'll do a shortcut. Uh, and ended up there's been a weight limit and shit like that, so we don't really try that anymore. We'll. Uh, but um, it's only a little bit further round and you know what I mean, it's not really worth it. Or you get down, the street looks as though it joins on and it doesn't actually join on when you get down. There's some cool properties now. Holy mac. Look at these, some spondoolies here, isn't there? That's really pretty. Steph would love that. Steph, check that one out. Look at that. No, we can't afford it. Yeah, there is a weight limit on those side roads. It can't be that big, this port, because uh, I was just uh, pulled up my um, my load, and it's uh, I, all I've got is the port, basically the port of Galveston, and uh, a load number. So there must be only one thing that gets shipped in here. I don't know. Something. I was thinking some uh, tropical fruit, I'm thinking. All shall... Oh, what's that squashed? Squirrel. Dirty eel. All shall be revealed short. like seaweed plants. Yeah. Wedding chapel? Huh? Married way around. In one half mile, keep left to Ferry Road North. Huge. 
pretty cool beach, eh? Bumley Beach Park. Bit choppy today, eh? I can get parked on there, look, you can drive on there. Don't drive on beaches with a truck. Uh, they can take cars and things like that. You will find you'll probably sink in a truck. Left here. Cut grisly cloud though. palm trees. Stay, stay there. Look, big white truck. Come on. Jesus. Turn left at the traffic light. Why have I got a truck route back there? Over there. It didn't say no truck, so... One mile. A right hand 1401 Harborside Drive on the left. Oh, I'm not actually in the... But it says Port of... That's the address I've got. There you go, Doc. Okay. Seeing I don't have a, uh, a Twit card, a Twit card is like your safety, it's a background check of, uh, of, um, of basically who you are, which I couldn't do one when I was on my uh, temporary, oh, there was on restrictions on my first green card. But now I've got my full one, I can actually apply for that, which makes it a lot easier getting into docks and things like that. Jesus, it's so humid here. Now I've opened the windows, it is something else. Uh, yeah, so I can apply for that. I just forgot all about it actually. Because I'll probably. Will I need escorting on? You're getting ready to get one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I have to get escorted to where I'm going and things like that. You've got to pay for that privilege, obviously. Everybody wants a little bit of money, don't they? So I feel all important, like being escorted into the dock, which is uh, not a problem. Uh, a lot of them, it's really funny. I've explained this before. They escort you in, you get loaded, and then you can do your own thing. They aren't bothered about you coming out. They've got the spondoolies, aren't they? There you go. So, that'll stop in a minute. Get, get this, get this. Uh, you get a sash, 75 bucks, dollars it costs, to get in. I also get a, a thing from a mirror. Like, it's like being um, a new boy at a school. <laughs> get name badges and things like that on. And look, look at me, I'm a new boy. I, oh, basically, I'm untrusted. I'm untrustworthy. So, if this guy with the uh, fluorescent, um, um, thing, whatever you want to call it, is seen walking about untowards, he's out of order, he's not to be trusted, get him back in his truck. Now I've got to follow mate here in his golf trolley that's off like hell. He's a tiger, I'm in a truck. Go 
around indications. It's got a cool moustache going on. I've got moustache envy. I think I might. I think I'm gonna have to grow my moustache back. Got one that look. He's untrusted as well. Fancy that a bit of untrustworthy. The uh, APU has been an absolute godsend, it really is. I'm, uh, I'm so chuffed with it, I really am. It's, uh, it's something else. So let's see what this buddy has to say. Is it, does he hold my hand to go in and log in, or what, what do you think? See what I mean about the handlebar moustache? Cool, that, innit? Hey? Eh? All right, bud. Do you know where to check in at? Not a clue. Okay. So over here at the brown two-story building. Got it, yeah. Go up the stairs to the glass doors, that's gonna be the office. Yep. Everybody's at lunch right now, so at one o'clock, go over there and check in. We'll bring a trailer license plate number, yep. the receipt you just got, and your order pickup number. Excellent. They're gonna help you out. Easy as that. Hey, I got a question. Uh, <laughs> England. So you got a Washington and Alaska plate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so is there something against it where you can't have, like, what's the deal? What, well, when you like go to... Alaska? So I've been here uh, on just under two hours, a little under two hours, this is on the dock. Uh, been and checked in and done all my malarkey and stuff. And this is like a crazy place. They were shut till one o'clock. So I've uh, been waiting about an hour now. And the amount of trucks they are loading and pushing out, it is unbelievable. They are really got it tuned on here. Whether I'm gonna be waiting a little, hopefully it shouldn't be too long now, but there. There was a hell of a line. There was all down this side that I'm facing and all the other side waiting on the base to get loaded, obviously, because they finished for an hour for dinner, uh, lunch rather, and um, which is actually dinner time. Americans call it lunch, it's dinner really. Dinner is uh, lunch, is lunch, dinner time. Dinner time, tea time is five o'clock. Got that straight? Okay, there we go. And uh, yeah, everybody's just milling about like a crazy peoples. Crazy, crazy. I've made myself a route up. I oh god, I'm not another pull your fucking trousers. Uh, another one then. I've sorted myself a route out that I won't have to go through Houston, so that's good. And I'm going to go back across country. I right, going up Dallas and that way, uh, and what have you with the rat race. We're going to go all the way across country to San, Mar San Maria, San Marillo, San Mar No, I'm not. Santa Maria. Uh, so I won't be going to Almarilla uh, on the way back, I won't be going to the Big Texan, we'll be going to uh, straight across country, which is a nice little jolly, quieter, and the speed limits through Texas are still up at 75 mile an hour, so we can still crack on. That's what it's all about. So I'm just out the dock, uh, and let's uh, so have a look through here. These memories. 40 ton. Uh, 30, 39, 7 something or other, so 40 ton. Oh, look here, look. Christmassy decoration. So, uh, on further investigation on uh, why we had the English flags out and stuff like that, it was Charles Dickens' weekend, apparently. Celebrate his birthday or something, so the author. It was all big parting cups of tea all around. And uh, wearing old, old styly clothes, apparently. And uh, a lot of the... Victorian style houses were all done up and dressed up as well, don't we? Oh, Mr. Dickens must have had a bit of an impression on the place. Wife loves all that malarkey. Yeah, there you go. Learn something every day. So yeah, out the dock. Absolute five hours to get loaded, man. I thought it said at first I said, you know, it was going well and they were loading my good golly jeepers, we took forever. But it is what it is. Um, it's a bit of a bollock on the way home. I'm just looking at the road, snock homey. Snock homey! Uh, that's pretty, isn't it? Was that me Union Jack? Yeah, it was. Look, taking them down. Got down. What? Left them up till I came out, couldn't they? Yeah, um, 
the uh, what was what was we yes it's not all mate is um, slinging chains Montana I'm not going through Montana I know but uh, they're slinging chains of a lookout and uh, the road in Idaho from Boise going up though I think it's Boise or uh, probably Dead Man's Pass somewhere over there is totally shut down for a good 30 mile or so of the road at the moment with uh, snow and poo and shit, well not actually poo, but uh, lots of snow. So, hey though. Sounds like it's going to be a fun time on the way home. It'll be what it'll be, won't it? At least we're loaded and we're on, like it's uh, Tuesday night. It's about Steve, it is the summit of uh, December. 6th of December. It's not bad actually because it's three thirty half past three uh, uh, my hometown at time so you know I can do a few hours to uh, 2,500 miles to home go back up New Mexico Salt Lake City that way uh, I'll try and get well I'll do as much as I can how many hours have I got let's have a look let's have a look I didn't start my clock till late because uh, because I didn't um, that was good. So I've still got I've got six hours and twenty nine minutes left uh, to do if I want to do that. So in theory, six hours could be Tuesday, Wednesday. I could be on Thursday night. Thursday night, go up and tip it Friday. But that's pushing it. That's seven hundred uh, seven hundred mile days if I do four hundred tonight. Uh, I don't know, we'll see how we get on. I'll uh, I'll at least get it down to, what is it, uh, if I'm doing 656. There's the Union Jacks there. Happy days. Ah, uh, they haven't taken them down. Um, if I do, and there's that bint up there on the statue. I don't know what she's all about. No doubt Steph will tell us. <laughs> she's lobbing a brick at the, at the bench. tea into the sea. They didn't really like to do that, they did. Um, yeah, I'll uh, 6, 12, 18, 24. So even if I didn't, uh, I can still be on Friday. I don't know what, I think the delivery, they wanted it like, well, they will, it's fruit. It's melons. Uh, so they'll want it tomorrow. So the quickest I can get it there, they, they'll be happy with that, obviously. So let's aim for... Friday, I think, or something like that. We'll go for Friday, eh? Try and get that Friday lunchtime. 